This video gives you a quick tour of the Accounting Insights Power BI Profit and Loss Template for Sage 50 Accounts. It's a three-page template that you can take as is or you can customize to your own particular needs. On the first page we've got a summary profit and loss view that comprises three main sections. On the right hand side we've got the slices to drive the filters within the report. So we can choose the fiscal year, the month we're looking at, whether we're looking at a month, year to date or 12 months. So if I select year to date, it's year to date up to May 2020. And the comparison we're looking at for variance purposes, whether we're looking at month on month comparison or year on year comparison. In the center, we've got a waterfall chart showing the variance by nominal group in this particular case, we've selected May 2020, just looking at the month and comparing it with the previous month. So we can see straight away that our sales are down, purchases have improved, but our overheads are up significantly, and the result is a decrease in net profit by 6K. The chart at the bottom, the rolling 12 months, is intended just to give you a kind of rolling 12-month bird's eye view of the past. So it's a rolling x-axis up to and including the latest month selected. So in this case, May 2020. And it just plots three figures. It shows the gross margin percentage for the previous rolling 12 months, the overheads ratio for the previous 12 months, and the rolling 12-month sales for the 12 months up to any particular month. Designed just to give you a sense of trends and what we can see straight away is that sales have been increasing steadily as time has gone on. But round about the middle of last year, we suffered a steep fall in gross margin, which we've gradually managed to claw back. But it seems we're not quite there yet in terms of overall profitability. On the left hand side, we've got a more classic P&L chart. The profit and loss for the period selected, showing sales purchases, direct expenses and gross margin and so on. The previous period. In this particular case, it's the previous month because we've selected a month-on-month -month comparison and the variance between the two. If I want to take a look at a more classic matrix of the profit and loss, then that's presented here. And since we're only two months into the fiscal year, we've just got two months showing, April and May, with the year-to-date total at the end. If I want to see a rolling 12-month view, I can just simply switch off this fiscal year filter. That'll show me a rolling 12-month profit and loss view through to the end of May 2020 and with the total number for a rolling 12-month profit and loss. While this chart is showing a summary of all the figures, we can drill through to any of the individual values. So if I want to see what actually made up that 148Ks worth of sales, I can right-click on the figure and drill through to my product sales for May 2020. And that shows me every single transaction, including the transaction reference, the customer, and the description that made those transactions up. So in summary, it's a Power BI profit and loss template that will enable you to slice and dice your profit and loss pretty much any way you may want. But it's available as a Power BI desktop template file that you can then customize for yourself. And it works out of the box with Sage 50 accounts data. If you'd like to have a play with us or try it for yourself, you can follow the link at the bottom of this video.